Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. If you're not new, then welcome back. Uh, today, as you saw from the title of this uh, video, I am doing a Dollar Tree haul. I have some things from a few of the uh, Shop With Me's I've been on. And this weekend, I'm going to be in Charlottesville, so I'm going to see if I can uh, find a break in my schedule to go do a Shop With Me in one of the Dollar Trees up there. So stick around for that. Um, I did a few things. These, this is completely random. I didn't have time to organize or film this whole weekend. So I says, I really got to sit down and hammer this out. So if I'll link below the, the, the shop with me's that I've done this past week, I think there's three of them. You may recognize some of the things that I picked up. I love it when I find something new at a Dollar Tree and I feel mildly envious that I couldn't find it at my local one. That's just like a quarter of a mile around the corner from me. But anyway... We'll start off with the patriotic stuff. We do have uh, Memorial Day coming up at the end of this month, and then on Flag Day, and then 4th of July. So it's a summer of patriotism. I loved this, this the simplicity of this. The USA, you really don't need a holiday to put this on display. If you are just a patriotic American, proud to be an American. This is just something wonderful. I love that it doesn't say 4th of July. It just says USA. Um, I recently was uh, confirmed in the Daughters of the American Revolution, which means I have a patriot that fought in the revolution. I have multiple, but I've been confirmed by one. So I'm feeling a surge of patriotism for the country. And so I have plans to do a whole patriotic section in my house with patriotic decor and different things. And this is going to be somewhere, not part of that, but you know, this is going to be on prominent display because I love my country. <laughs> and, um, all right. You did see me see this. I did go back and pick up one of these, uh, dry erase boards. Those of you who have little ones who are practicing early elementary and whatnot. Um, this is fantastic. It's dry erase. And you can, they can practice and write on, and it's double-sided. Do you hear that? Do you see that? Double-sided. Two-sided dry erase board. So the other side, they could draw this side, practice their letters, or practice writing their letters after they've practiced here. So this is really excellent. Uh, I think for a child practicing penmanship plus learning the alphabet, they could write the letters and then draw a picture that starts with the letter on the back. Either way, these are invaluable. It's very economical because you're not wasting paper. But run and grab one of these and see if your Dollar Tree has them. My Dollar Tree around the corner does not have these. But I did find them in two other Dollar Trees. So this really made me happy. So yeah, I picked that up. All right. I did pick up this story called The Scarlet Dragon. I've seen this at a few Dollar Trees, including the one that's closest to my home. I am going to go back and get the other stories. One was about, uh, you know, the purple bag or the traveling purple bag. And the other one was about the Delphine Detectives, I think is what it was called. Really cute. I'm very impressed. I didn't pick them up because when I thought about it, uh, my store only had this one. I'll have to go back to one of the other Dollar Trees and get those other two stories but I really appreciated the look how you know engaging the picture is when I was a kid I loved a, a, a picture book or storybook that had a good story but also had illustrations so yeah I can't wait to dig into this I'll be reading this on my story time with Gigi channel so uh, that's a link below there as well so I did pick up some dry roasted peanuts for a dollar. Now me being on a weight loss journey, I'm really watching my carbs. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm strictly on keto and you can check my channel. I can't link so many things below. I could probably link the video below to my weight loss journey, but suffice it to say, I'm really watching my carbs, not full on keto. I do some intermittent fasting, but I've bought these to make some, uh, carb friendly or keto friendly peanut clusters so that I can have a treat when I want to have a treat. <laughs> and so dry roasted peanuts, there's only, let's see, the carbs in here is just six carbs for a quarter of a cup. And so that's actually not a bad carb count for a nut. It's higher than some of the other nuts 
but that's because it's peanuts. Peanuts are legumes. Anyway, so I got this so I can do a sugar-free peanut cluster for myself. And so that's going to be fun. All right. I did pick up, I took it out of the wrapper because I already started using it and realized I hadn't hauled it yet. So one of these bags, these storage bags, and they open up. Look at how big that is. This is a wire frame. Now this right here is kind of that recycled. I don't know if you can get the idea what kind of material it is. I wouldn't say it's like super durable, but the handles, the metal frame, I mean, come on, you can get some good use out of it. Get your dollar's worth out of that. This is really, I haven't, I've seen um, Catherine from Do It On A Dime. She was talking about these. And when I saw them on her channel, cause she's an organizer, home organizer, you could put this in your linen closet with rolled up towels. Um, you could do all kinds of things in your pantry uh, to put in like bags of chips or something as the bin that, you know, the snack bin or something in your pantry that your kids can go into when they're helping to put together their lunches. I mean, that's huge. Do you see how, how big that is? It's nice and deep. And so, and this is a metal frame. This is not some chintzy aluminum that you can bend easily. I'm going to have to, if I want to bend that, I'm going to have to put some effort into it. But I thought that was pretty good. I liked it. So I said, I've got to go back and get one of those. And, um, and then I did pick up this. Those of you who watched the most recent shop with me, the last one I did, I did see this. I haven't seen this at any other Dollar Tree except the one where my sister was with me. I love this. I'm going to put this in my living room. It's just very simple. There's no nothing. Just says love, which that's that should be the heart of what we do. And I did pick up some of these plastic forks. There's 70 in here for a dollar and they're all different colors. This is the cooking concepts. This is a Dollar Tree product. Okay. Now you could say, why would I want to get this when I could use toothpicks? True. There are some things where toothpicks work, but for these, there are sometimes those little bits you serve your friends when you're doing a get together, they slide right off the toothpick. I'm going to give these a try. I think these look like they'll be a little bit sturdier. And, you know, they're fun colors. And to me, the get-togethers, especially as all the um, restrictions are lifting, I think people are really going to be in a celebratory mood. I know they're not going to really get, not, they're not going to really care. But when you add that little bit of something extra to your gatherings, something as simple as taking the time to add something like this that they can hygienically pick up their their appetizer with, I think that goes a long way. And there's so many, those cookbooks I hauled by William Sonoma that had the appetizers in them. There's quite a few that would work with this. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try just to see, you know, I might pick up if they work as well as I hope they do. I'm going to go back and make sure I pick up a few more. I only found these at one of the three Dollar Trees I've been to. So I get toothpicks galore, but I hadn't seen these and the little, um, parasol toothpicks you know the ones i'm talking about and i think i've seen the ones that are toothpicks with the little curly frills on the end i've seen those i see those all the time haven't seen these these were new so i picked those up and then for a couple of years i've seen everybody you know because i'm all about storage baskets and stuff i've seen those baskets that look like totes the plastic totes which i think are perfect for the beach i found one in a nice neutral color, cute little beach bag. I could just imagine tying one of the Dollar Tree scarves on this and using it as either a, a purse or, you know, if I'm going doing some light shopping, I can just toss that stuff in there. Or even, as I said, as a beach bag, your drink, your sunglasses, your towel, extra change of clothes. I mean, come on. And that's a nice neutral color. I believe I didn't see these in the bright colors that Dollar Tree has for the spring and summer. It was like this color, and I think there was a gray. So that'll give you an idea. It's more on the in the storage line of colors, but I like this one. This one was a nice neutral. Now, um, my granddaughter was with me this weekend, and I found for her, and I believe it was Marie, crafty girl, where I first saw them and I went on the hunt for them. And that is these, 
Lion King electric um, toothbrushes and they work. The batteries come in it right out of the package. I was able to use it the first night. So I went and I grabbed another one. I sent the one I opened home with her mom because I wanted to show you this in the packaging. Now Lion King is the only character that they had. So it's not like they had a variety to choose from. It's just this one. So I'm thinking that there was more of these produced than they were able to sell, which is how the Dollar Tree was able to grab them up because this is not a Dollar Tree product. Okay. Fireflytoothbrush.com. So you can go look and see, but for a dollar and she loved it. It helped her get her teeth clean. And she, I mean, it's pretty powerful too. I was worried it was a little too powerful, but she was able and she laughed because she said it tickled, you know, her teeth and, and tongue and all that stuff. So this was really good. And so I have one that she sent home to her mama and one that's going to stay here. Okay, and then my granddaughter who turns three in July, uh, she wants a Disney princess birthday party. So I, you know, Dollar Tree has a bunch of Disney princess things. So I have quite a few things in here that are for that party. Uh, whether they're going to be included in a favor bag to give out to each guest who comes. And she's not going to have that many because she's, she's little. It's some gals from church, some little friends from her class and one of her mama's best friends, little girls. I mean, she's going to have maybe three or four guests. So I don't know if we're going to do a prize, a game that has a prize, or if we're just going to send them home with some Disney princess things. But I thought I would pick up one of these comic books because, you know, little girls, these are really cute guys. These are really adorable. I already have one in my own comic book collection because, you know, I'm six years old deep inside. But I thought, um, this would be super cute uh, to include, and I'm going to look and see if I, they have any other. This is issue number three. So I have all three issues, one, two, and three, and I believe issue number four is out. I don't know if they have it yet. I know I found issue number four in one of the comic books. I think it was the Toy Story one because I hauled it on this channel. But I've got my eye out for some of the other ones. But, you know, I just got one. That's all they had. It may be included in a prize of Disney princess things. And then, let's see, we picked up two of those, okay? So we might be including those in bags, all right? And then we got three Disney princess color books. This one with Rapunzel, Cinderella, and Jasmine, or Jasmine, as my granddaughter says. We have this one with Tiana and Rapunzel, which I love. And on the back, it's got Jasmine. Who's on the back here? Oh, there's cute little bookmarks on the back here. And then we got this one that's got Mulan, Cinderella, Belle. And then it's got Mulan and Belle on the back. And of course, these are, you know, you know. And, you know, just great colors. Something fun for them to take home. And that's, and then... We also have crayons, Disney Princess crayons that we'll be including with the color book. And then we got some Disney Princess jumbo playing cards. I may have to go back and get another couple of things just so we can send them home with some fun Disney Princess color book crayons, playing cards, and a comic book. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. My daughter says I Kind of go over the top but you know i reserve the right to do that as the gg okay and then i got this this isn't disney princess but it's just a simple happy birthday with the tiara i really like that it's got pink and we can incorporate that with all the disney princess colors that are in there i think we're going to go back and find the little tiaras for everybody okay i did pick up a lip balm uh, for my granddaughter, she is starting to get into lip balms at night. That's one of the things I do. I put lip balm and from the time she was little, uh, I want to say eight or nine months old, she would watch me fascinated. Actually, she's probably about a year old because she was, yeah, from about a year old or so, she's wanted to do what Gigi does. And so she's watching me as I'm putting my lip balm on at night. And then I would lean over and give her some. And so that's kind of like one of the nighttime routines here is lip balm. So she'll ask for it. Can I have lip balm? And I'm like, okay. And so I got her her own little orange and I'm going to put that in her room here. That's kind of cute. 
Uh, totally random, but I keep saying I'm going to do DIYs next week. <laughs> I picked up some of the small styrofoam balls because I am going to make some yarn people, uh, yarn dolls. I'm going to do a yarn octopus and then I'm going to do yarn people. And so I got these for the heads. So that's that. And then I did pick up some more of the Simply Venus two more packs. I'm going to save these. I could include for guests or myself if I run out. When I find a name brand product for a buck, yeah, I'm going to grab it. So there's that. Let me see what's in here. Oh, yes. At my Dollar Tree, I was very happy to see they got some new burlap trim for those of you who um, do crafting of any kind. Really nice. Three different types. And it looks like there's a yard of each on here. So I picked up two. I just like the variety, the natural fibers. I think, you know, you could use this to wrap up packages, to tie off. You know, um, I am going through a girl's weekend this weekend. That's why I'm going away. And so I may use some of this to tie off the little gifts I'm putting together for them. Okay, there's that. And then I did find, there's three yards of these. So literally this is three yards of ribbon, a yard each of these. So that's three yards and three yards. And then this is one spool of three yards. This I thought was nice. Do you see the, can you see the glitter on that? Is that focusing in? That's three yards. And then this doesn't have any, you know, metallic threads going through, but it's nice. Put the glare off. So if you do paper crafting or mixed media, you make bows or do any kind of sewing that might add a nice little element. And for my girlfriends who uh, were getting together, I did pick up another spa treatment mask. This one is the collagen mask because, you know, we're all a certain age. And uh, I think these are the paper ones. Anti-aging serum, 15-minute facial therapy, and it looks to me like this is a paper mask. Those are kind of neat, you know? Just, you look like Jason for about 15 minutes. And we don't care. We take our pictures because, <laughs> you know, that's what you're supposed to do. And my last bag, a few more things for the the birthday party here's this cinderella puzzle which might be a bit much i believe her friends coming are in the four-year-old range here's a jasmine puzzle these are really great and they're ziplocked so they can stay in there and the last one is a mulan puzzle and those will go, yeah, I, Gigi might be going overboard, but whatever. I reserve the right to do that. <laughs> oh, and I did pick up some more of these bath bombs. These were the Galactic Vanilla Berry. She really enjoyed when I would put that in there and watching it fizz and spin around. And it does have a very pleasant, creamy, um, floral, you know, really kind of a sweet, uh, fragrance she just enjoyed and it turns the water slightly pink not really super pink but slightly pink and then um, I found these crafter square products those of you like me who don't have a Cricut yet kind of envy those who can come up with those wonderful things and put them on mugs and these are Decorative stickers like what you would get for Cricut. This has one sticker sheet, and if you look, it's got Best Mom Ever, You Mean the World to Me, Wife, Boss, Mom, Best, Cool Mom. I mean, there's a whole variety for this one. I'm trying to get that so you don't see the glare. It doesn't say how many are in here. Or does it? Just this one sticker sheet. So let me open it and see instead of guessing. Okay. Okay. 
So these are the clear stickers. Mom, you're the best. Wife, boss, mom. I'm a because it mom, you're the best. Cool mom. Best mom ever. You mean the world to me. Wife, mom, boss. So that's five. Five of those there. So then you have one for dads. And I like the idea of putting that on a thermos. So best dad, you're my hero. Thanks, dad. I love dad. Number one dad. It's really nice. So there's that one. I only saw the three different types. And then this last one was, I don't know if I like this world's greatest person. But the world needs more people like you. Eat, drink, burp, repeat. Uh, best friend ever. Let's see. You're the best. Yeah, best friend ever. I don't know about, this one's kind of weird to me. World's greatest person. You could have said world's greatest friend, you know. Anyway, there's that. So those were the three that I, that I found. If you have seen other types aside from these three, then comment below and let me know if there's more than these three that are there. Because these are really nice and you can really do some wonderful projects. Father's Day is coming up, guys. Hello. There's all kinds of wonderful mugs and, you know, even if you have those Yeti coolers. Um, yeah. And my last product, uh, I hauled this once before, the Lady Speed Stick Ex Exotic Blooms Body Wash. This, oh my gosh, it smells so good. What is that? It's got a, there's a slightly vanilla, almost a lily fragrance with vanilla in it and oh I just well how about looking at the flowers depicted on the label okay yeah so there are lilies in there I can't quite there might be some freesia in there too is that what this is up here I'm not sure but this smells amazing and it does bubble up because I put a little bit in my granddaughter's bath and she was like, ooh, Gigi, that smells good. And I said, yeah, that does smell good. And um, so that's the that's the last thing I have for my haul. Well, I hope you guys liked it. Oh, wait, I did get one more thing hiding over there. I did get some of these Renews It um, air fresheners. Uh, I found in small clothes spaces like coat closets and places like that, these are amazing. I mean, I put one in my closet and, you know, my closet, I do the best, you know, with um, your shoes and different things like that. You know, after a while, those things can just make your closet. Not that I have stinky feet. I don't. But just shoes in general. After a while, even if I've got the foot odor deodorizer things, they're these little balls that you had to crack open and you put them down in the shoes. And that also helps. But, you know, just after a while, you know, I don't know what causes that, but this has really, really improved. And so I thought small spaces, small bathrooms, this is a great way to keep the air fresh. I love this after the rain fragrance, but they have all kinds, of course, tropical, Hawaiian tropical and, you know, some other stuff. All right. Now that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I always, you know, Dollar Tree is my favorite store. My husband says we should own stock as many times as you go there. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I really haven't been able to find a better deal anywhere else. But um, thanks for stopping by and spending a little time with me today. Make sure you like and subscribe, share with your friends, and bye until next time.